Hi, now here we have a question on geometric series that you might like to try. So I'll give you a moment to uh, pause the video. If you'd like to uh, read it through, come back when ready and I'll run through the work solution. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So what we've got here is a geometric series that has first term A equals 360 and a common ratio R which equals 7 eighths. And given your answer to three significant figures, where appropriate, find the 20th term of this series. Now I'm assuming that you're familiar with the geometric series. If not, you can always check out more tutorials on my website, examsolutions.net. But very briefly, if we're going to find the 20th term of the series, in general, the series is first term A, Next term you multiply it by what's called a common ratio, R, and that gives you AR. Next term would be AR squared, and so on. And when you're trying to find the nth term in this particular sequence, it always is AR to the power N minus 1. So when we're doing this question here, the 20th term Let's just put it down, the 20th term is going to be equal to A, the first term, which we're told is 360, multiplied by the common ratio, 7 eighths, and that is raised to the power n minus 1. We're looking for n being 20 here, so 20 minus 1 takes us down to 19. And now if you put this through your calculator, you should find that you get 28 point four seven four and so on. Now we're told to give this to three significant figures so this is going to be 28.5 to 3SF. Okay so that should give you that one. Now next one we're told to work out the sum of the first 20 terms of the series. In other words if we were to add all these terms together well again, you should be familiar with this formula. We often write the sum of the first n terms as Sn. And there's two formulas that you can use for this. And uh, if you want a proof of this, again, this is on my website. So uh, do check it out. Okay, sum of the first n terms is equal to a times 1 minus r to the power n over 1 minus r. Or you could use another version of this where we times top and bottom of the formula by minus 1 and get a times r to the power n minus 1 all over r minus 1. It doesn't matter which one of these formulas you use, you'll arrive at the same answer. But we tend to use this one when r is less than 1. It just keeps the top and the bottom positive. And in this case, r is less than 1. So it's a good idea to use this first version for the sum then of the first 20 terms. So write s20 for this. And it's going to equal the first term, 360 then. And then we've got all of this is multiplied by 1 minus r to the power n. So we've got 1 minus r being 7 eighths to the power n being 20 and this is all divided by 1 minus r so it's 1 minus 7 eighths and again if you put this through your calculator what you'll find you get is 2680.678 and so on and if we round this to three significant figures we're going to end up with 2680 All right, to three significant figures, 3SF there. Now in the last part, C, we've got to find the sum to infinity of the series. And if you're looking for the sum to infinity, then the sum to infinity only works if R lies between minus 1 and 1. And it does, it's 7 eighths here. And if that's the case, r to the power n tends to 0. So you're left with a over 1 minus r. So for us then, the sum to infinity 
is going to be equal to A, 360 then, divided by 1 minus R at 7 eighths. Work this out on your calculator and you get 2880. All right. So we've got all these formulae here which uh, are very common when you're working out problems with the geometric series. So that's just a quick reminder and uh, I'd encourage you to learn them. Okay.